80% will self-resolve. That's why experts say to me, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people have had the virus, didn't know they had it, and resolved. That's why we have to get that test that shows you had the virus because you have the antibodies. And you did resolve. And once we do that, that's how you get the economy back to work. That's how you get the backup healthcare workers. But 80% are going to self-resolve. 20% are going to need hospitals. It's not about that. It's about a very small group of people in this population who are the most vulnerable. They are older, they have compromised immune systems, they are HIV positive, or they have emphysema, or they have an underlying heart condition, or they have bad asthma, or they're recovering from cancer. Those are the people who are going to be vulnerable to the mortality of this disease. And it is only 1% or 2% of the population. But then why all of this? Because it's 1% or 2% of the population. It's lives, it's grandmothers and grandfathers and sisters and brothers. And you start to see the cases on TV. It's a 40-year-old woman who recovered from breast cancer but had a compromised immune system and four children at home. That's what this is about. It's about a vulnerable population. I called the executive order that I passed Matilda's Law, my mother. It's about my mother. It's about my mother. It's about your mother. It's about your loved one. And we will do anything we can to make sure that they are protected. Again, keeping it in perspective, Johns Hopkins, 387,000 cases, studied 16,000 deaths on 387,000. 100,000 recoveries worldwide, 268,000 pending. Last point, it is about the vulnerable. It's not about 95% of us. It's about a few percent who are vulnerable. That's all this is about. Bring down that anxiety, bring down that fear, bring down that paranoia. It's not about 95% of us. And we're going to get through it because we are New York and because we've dealt with a lot of things and because we are smart. You have to be smart to make it in New York. And we are resourceful and we've, we are showing how resourceful we are. And because we are united, and when you are united, there is nothing you can't do. And because we are New York tough, we are tough. You have to be tough. This place makes you tough. But it makes you tough in a good way. We're going to make it because I love New York. And I love New York because New York loves you. New York loves all of you, black and white and brown and Asian and short and tall and gay and straight. New York loves everyone. That's why I love New York. It always has, it always will. And at the end of the day, my friends, even if it is a long day, and this is a long day, love wins, always and it will win again through this virus. Thank you.